Hey, Brandon and Vanessa here with your Roseville market update for quarter one of 2024. Let's jump right into it. We're doing number of homes for sale, sold and pending. So right now we have 192 active for sale homes in the market. Now what's interesting is when you look back a year from now, we kind of almost had this like step down type ladder where it was like 209 and then it just went significantly down. What's interesting now is that it's actually a step up. So it's continually increasing, which is a good sign. Yeah, yeah, we went from 152 in January, 172, 192. Uh, that is a good sign, market's heading in the right direction, even with higher interest rates. Now for the pending numbers in January, we had 149 houses, February 126, and then jumped all the way up to 181. That's the biggest jump from 126 to 181, biggest jump we've had in well over a year. What that says is that next month, we're gonna have a lot more sold houses. That pending number really does control the market on, on how many actives and how many solds because not every pending house actually sells. Uh, sometimes houses fall out, go back on the market, become active again, uh, but that number is really gonna help us get an idea of where we're headed. Yeah, I mean, when, we, when I look at it, what I see what's interesting is we look at June, which was a similar kind of setup. It's almost like April this year is gonna look <clears throat> like June of last year. And June is typically a pretty active month. It's so when kids get out of school. Right, it's when people are really, like the market is very active. And so for that to happen in April, that's showing some really strong activity in the market. Let's talk about average price per square foot. Now, back in the day, I don't know when the day was, but back in the day, day. everybody based everything off of price per square foot. Not really the case anymore. Uh, there's so many different communities and different age of homes, but we can see now that the average price per square foot is $321 per square foot. And it's been hovering in the 317 to 321 the past three months. But this time last year, guys, it went from 290 to 300. So we've seen a huge jump in the price per square foot and evident of a very competitive market, low inventory, all of those things which you already know, but uh, the price per square foot we're seeing increase. And let's yeah. talk about the days on market and the sold price versus list price. So right now the average days on market is 42 days. It's <clears throat> It's been that way in the 40s for the last four months or so. It's no different than even just looking back. So April of last year, we're at 37. May, we're at 42. But last year in March, it was 57 days. So it is at least going down. So that's a good that's a good thing. And, and keep in mind, you may look at this and you may say, hey, 42 days. I don't want my house to sit on the market for 42 days before someone agrees to buy it. If your house is you know clean, move-in ready, good location, priced right, it's, it's usually taking a week or less and you're having multiple offers, especially right now at this time of the year, uh, we're seeing it's just, it's being, it's very competitive right now. Of course, depending on the price range. Let's talk about the average price of for sale and sold homes. We don't look as much at the average price for sale because anyone can list their house for any price. We wanna look at the actual data, which is, which is telling us where the market's heading. And so we're gonna look at the sold homes. Yeah, that, I mean, that shows, a much more accurate picture. That's what they agreed upon. That's the end result. It's not a negotiable number like the for sale number is. Mm -hmm. So it is increasing. So we're seeing from even just from January at 641, it is now at 695. It is not the peak of the market, but it is the second highest peak of this these, these last 12 months. Well, and if you look at year over year, March of last year, 634 to 695. We're looking at what, $62,000 increase in overall sales price, a sold price in Roseville. That's that's a huge number. Yeah. And I can't say this enough, you know, cause we're looking at, we're now gonna look at the months of inventory. We are seeing it way more competitive than you would think with the high interest rates, with the political landscape, with everything going on. We have such limited inventory. Houses are still moving. selling, moving quickly, <laughs> right? So, you know, even here, as we look at months of inventory, we're 1.4 months of inventory, meaning that's how many months it would take to run out of houses if we didn't list anymore. You know, we were at 1.4 in February of last year, but it has only been over two months of inventory twice mm -hmm. in the past year. So we still have a limited number of homes. It's still very competitive. 
And so, you know, the one thing that I would say, like if you're planning on selling your house in 2024, having your house prepared and move-in ready is the most important thing uh, because when you do get into a multiple offer situation and you have multiple people that want to buy your house, um, we're just seeing we're just seeing buyers willing to do things that they weren't willing to do last year just due to competition. They're promising more than what the list price is and they're willing to pay it no matter what. We call that an appraisal gap. They're willing to pay the difference between the appraisal and the, and the offer that they give. So make sure that you are preparing your house, getting ready to sell. Yeah, so if you're thinking about selling, your next best step is to get your home selling score. And that's just clicking on the link below. It just takes you a couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. That sets you up to be seen as the best house on the block. You really wanna get that score that's gonna set you up for success. And that is gonna put you in a position to get that 100% or more offer where you're staying on the market very, very few days because your house is ready. Your house is move in ready. The people that walk into your home will feel connected to it immediately. So that's something you really wanna do and get. So just click the link below and get your home selling score.